So welcome back. So this is section five of your order to cash business process. So, so far on the previous lessons or lectures, we went over creating sales order, availability check, outbound delivery document, and picking and packing. And now once we pick and pack everything, we are going to post goods issue. Basically meaning that this good has been sent out now it belongs to them it's basically a way for a company to update their material so let's go ahead and um, get started on this so goods issue can be done in three different ways it can be done in automatically routinely or manually and of course with automatically we are starting to see all the themes here with different processes goods issue is another one of those things so with automatically, you're basically it's going to happen during outbound delivery creation. And then when we're talking about routinely, again, it's going to happen at a certain time of the day or a certain time of the week, depending on your situation. And that's what's happening. And lastly, manually, it's same as the other processes, basically via an employee request, it'll be posted depending on their request at the time now some of the key points we should talk about on goods issue remember i said on the earlier sessions that we have within the order to cash process there's a sub process which is a delivery process and it started with that one specific one i don't know if you guys still remember or you were paying attention or not but you should definitely know that within the order the cash process, there's a sub process called delivery process. And when we talk about delivery process, we're talking about the delivery of it itself. Okay, the logistics side of it. So if you remember, I mentioned that delivery process, it starts with creation of outbound delivery document and then it ends with goods issues so there are three processes or steps that are in the delivery process which is your creation of outbound delivery document picking and packing and finalizing with posting goods issue so remember those three things make up your delivery process within order the cash process now one thing about goods issue what is like a checks and balance system where we can't really cheat one person can't cheat the system so what they do is data from goods issue it's actually copied from outbound delivery document and you can't really make any changes yourself on when you're posting goods issue so if there's any changes that needs to be made it needs to happen within the outbound delivery document rather than the goods issue or rather than when you post goods issue and this is to basically prevent any discrepancies or potential fraud or anything of that nature from happening and now once the posting of goods issue is done they're very limited on the things you can change within the delivery document as well and by doing this you can be sure that there are no discrepancies and there's it's an actual accurate very accurate reflection of what got delivered versus what was created on the delivery document now this particular section is very important i suggest that you memorize every single word on here i suggest that you study this more than just reading over this particular section so when you post goods issue you need to realize what's happening in the background or foreground or what it what it may be you just need to know okay these are some of the things that's going to be triggered by goods issue so some things that are going to be triggered by posting goods issue it's the very first thing obviously what it's going to do is it's going to reduce your stock right when your warehouse you're actually picking and packing that product and you're getting it out shipping it out what just happened 
you're missing how many of a quantity you had in there, right? So it's obviously going to reduce the stock material within your warehouse. So whatever the delivery quantity was, your warehouse is now less of it. And this happens when you post the goods issue. So in simple terms, again, it basically updates the quantity in inventory management as well. And it also updates the quantity on delivery requirement in material planning. And posting goods issue not only change your quantities, but it also going to affect your dollar value. So it's definitely going to change or update the value on the balance sheet by the amount that was posted on the posting goods issue. Also, another thing that's going to happen is accounting document is created and controlling for the managerial accounting as well because eventually you want to know what went out and we want to be able to control specific aspects of your business how much was lost or whatnot so that's going to also happen and another thing we talked about earlier there's going to be a document flow and basically it updates all the statuses in the sales process all the documents that were there it's going to update that so all the statuses are, are updated on document flow as well and then obviously because you just post a goods issue next step you want your money eventually so billing due list is updated Again, I highly suggest that you memorize these particular effects that's created by posting goods issue. Okay, so we just went over section five. We went over creation of sales order, doing the availability check, creating outbound delivery document, picking and packing, and now we were on to goods issue. Next section is transportation, which is very, very brief section. Is and then we'll finish it up with billing and payment process and we'll be done with order to cash process thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one